Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. May the love and mercy of God be with you. Let us pray. Loving Jesus, we thank you for your goodness and we ask you to bless this day, to bless the years we shall spend here on earth. May they be years to prepare and to be ready for your second coming so that we may unite with you and the Father and the Holy Spirit in heaven forever and ever. And this is our prayer through you, Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 21 verses 20, 28. At that time Jesus said to his disciples, When you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, then know that desolation has come near. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains, let those who are inside the city depart, and let not those who are out in the country enter it. For these are days of vengeance to fulfill all that is written. Alas, for those who are with child, and for those who are nursing those days, for great distress shall be upon the earth, and wrath upon these people. They will fall by the edge of the sword, and be led captive among all nations. And Jerusalem will be trodden down by the Gentiles, until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled, and there will be signs in sun and moon and stars, and upon the earth distress of nations in perplexity at the roaring of the sea and the waves, men fainting with fear and with foreboding of what is coming on the world, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. And when they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory, and then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now, when these things begin to take place, look up and raise your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear good listener, a good Thursday to you. Today, I've chosen the theme, prepare and be ready for the second coming of Jesus. My dear good listener, it is the scouts who have a slogan, be prepared. Jesus, in today's gospel, is announcing of his second coming and he does not shy away from telling us that he will come during the time of vengeance, during the time of desolation, during the time of distress, during the time of perplexity, during the time when the powers will be shaken. It will be a time of change, although there will be such a phenomenon that to us seems to bring us fear. Jesus tells us, and then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now, when these things begin to take place, look up and raise your heads because your redemption is drawing near. My dear good listener, many times when we are troubled, many times when we are faced with the challenges or we are in distress, that's the time we think the worst is coming to the worst. That's the time when the devil comes to scare us and we find ourselves in fear. But Jesus in today's gospel is telling us whenever there are moments of distress, of perplexity, whenever there are moments of desolation, there are moments of fear, do not bow your head to those terrible moments to that fear, but know that Jesus is coming. Know that your time of salvation, of your redemption is drawing near. Therefore, look up. Look up to heaven. Raise your head up to heaven and call on the Father to come to your aid. Because know that the devil 
Worries brings us distress in the times of fear when we draw our eyes away from God. My dear good listener, in today's gospel, Jesus warned that the destruction of Jerusalem would come. And indeed, after his death and resurrection, it took place during the year 70 AD. The inhabitants needed therefore to be ready to escape that disaster. My dear good listener, we do today have many disasters. We hear of turmoil, we hear of wars, we hear of trouble in families. We need to escape from that and begin to look up to heaven, to begin praying, not to be distressed and distressed and forget that we have a God who will liberate us. Do you remember the Israelites? When they were in Egypt suffering, that's the time God came for them. Read Exodus chapter 3. That's the time. God always intervenes when there is trouble. That's why even the Blessed Virgin Mary has always appeared whenever there is trouble. That's whenever she comes. Yes, many of the Christians of Jerusalem heeded Jesus' words and did escape to safety when the time came. So they needed not to fear. Only they needed to look forward to that day with the hope and confidence. We too need to look to the second coming of Jesus with the hope and confidence to prepare ourselves and to be ready for his coming. But for us, there will also come that time when Jesus will come again and return in glory with his salvation. Yes, he will bring us salvation, not destruction. Therefore, we too need to look forward to that day with confidence and hope, knowing that even in our worst moments, the Lord is near and his return can come at any time. Therefore, prepare and be ready. My dear good listener, when I was reading the diary of St. Faustina this morning, something struck me. She's talking about her home. Our families are going through hardships and we need to look forward to the coming of Jesus. Let's read it and hear. It's diary number 402. As I was taking leave of my parents and asking for their blessing, I felt the power of the grace of God being poured out upon my soul. My father, my mother, and my grandmother blessed me with the tears in their eyes, wished me the greatest faithfulness to God's graces, and begged me never to forget how many graces God had granted me in calling me to the religious life. They asked me to pray for them. Although everyone was crying, I did not shed a single tear. I tried to be brave and comforted them as best I could, reminding them of heaven, where there would be no more parting. Stanley walked me to the car. I told him how much God loves pure souls and assured him God was satisfied with him. When I was telling him about the goodness of God and of how he thinks of us, he burst out crying like a little child. And I was not surprised, for this was a pure soul and as such more capable of recognizing God. Do you realize this, my dear good listener? St. Faustina had to leave her home and is telling her, her family about heaven, looking up to heaven, where all the graces come from. And secondly, to his brother, she says she was not surprised when he began crying, for he was a pure soul, and as such more capable of recognizing God. Who is that person able to recognize the coming of Jesus is a pure soul. My dear good listener, therefore, begin today, be that pure soul. Those who will see Jesus are those pure souls. Therefore, let's prepare for the coming of Jesus by purifying our souls. The Lord be with you, and may the God of love and mercy bless you, the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please prepare and be ready for the coming of Jesus, and remember also to share this good news with your friends, so that they too can prepare themselves. For the sake of sorrowful passion.